Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to discuss the difference between the pressure and the stress. I will explain and define the differences between the pressure and stress with diagram. So let's can start from the first difference. The pressure can be defined as it is the intensity. It is the intensity of external forces. Of external forces acting on a point. Acting at a point. It is external forces acting at a point, while stress can be defined as uh, it is the intensity of it is the intensity of internal internal resisting forces develop at a point develop at a point so what this uh, means i will explain it now by considering the diagram for example this is any object and i will explain the difference between these two by considering this diagram this is any object so the intensity of external forces acting on this object at a point it is the when the load act on this object so we call as the pressure because this is the external forces acting at a point so we call this a, at a point at a point at a point so these are the external forces and we call this the pressure while stress is not the same as external forces it is the intensity of internal forces internal resistant forces the resistance of this material to this force there is a force and this internal resistance to these forces we develop at a point at this point we call as the stress it is external and it is internal there is a main difference between these two terms the second difference is uh, that the pressure always act pressure always act act normal to the surface always act normal to the surface normal to the surface while the stress uh, acts either either normal or parallel to the surface or parallel to the surface i will explain this by taking an example hence consider here any object so the when the force act on this object so the pressure will always if this at 90 degree are perpendicular to this surface because it is defined as the pressure is acting always normal to the surface when this load is acting normal to the surface and is external force so we call it as the pressure now acting on this object while the stress can be act either normal or parallel to the surface for example consider this is an object so consider this is an object so now the load may act either perpendicular to this object or it may be uh, or it may be to the uh, parallel to this surface it may resist the load either in parallel or in the normal to the surface so we call is the stress this is the main difference between these two terms that it is the external force and it is internal resistance the pressure is normal to the surface while it is normal or parallel to the surface the third difference is the third difference is the pressure can be measured by pressure can be measured pressure can be measured by by measuring device can be measured by measuring device device like pressure gauge for example pressure gauge but stress cannot be measured by any device there is not any device not any device to measure the stress directly not any device is there to measure the stress directly but pressure can be measured by a pressure gauge usually while the stress can't be measured by any device 
uh, directly, indirectly we can measure by taking the load dividing by area, so we can determine the stress at a point. So, yeah, and the both are being, uh, a being uh, we can say both can be, uh, we can find the stress and the pressure by the same formula, there is a force, uh, we can say the force dividing by the area, and we get the for pressure and the stress have the same formula and they have the same unit for example newton per meter square are uh, kips are pound per inch square are something but these two have the same units uh, and they have a uh, same uh, numerical presentation so this was all about the difference between the pressure and stress and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching watching our video